Alright, how's it going, UbiTubi? Been a minute. Mule here. Turns out I won HTP's giveaway that he did recently. And now I don't usually be, I'm not doing videos much lately. But I did want to share this one with you because my buddy HTP, whose giveaway I won, and G Webs was driving through my area and I was able to have coffee and uh, french fries with him, you know, on his way to his next destination. And I got a chance to see the face of the man who I've only seen hands of for years, which is awesome. Now, I know a lot of people have already seen the unboxing on the giveaway. I'm going to just be looking at it as I'm talking to you, speaking about my longing for the old YouTube. Ye oldie, you be to be. Right? I'll tell you. I miss that. Let's see. Can I flip this thing around so I'll be able to see what the hell I'm doing? Let's try. Let's look there and go like this. No. So, I can't do that. Can't flip it as you're watching, kind of deal. So. There it is. Anyway, so as I'm checking out the stuff that I won in HD's giveaway, right? So the first thing I'm pulling out is the Ocean Pack 2 bag. These are cool. These are waterproof bags you can put your stuff in. This is going to go into the truck with some waterproof, with some stuff that needs to stay waterproof. Anyway, so what I wanted to talk to you guys about was missing the old YouTube. The 550 cord. Awesome. Right? Because I've gotten the opportunity over the past few years, er, er, periodically, to meet up with people who used to be, or who were currently, or were on YouTube at the time that we met up. And I got to tell you, those were always great experiences. And this one was no doubt another highly memorable, highly great experience that I just wish could have went on for longer. Right? I wish I could have spent the whole day with him, showing him my area, taking him to a few ranges, and, you know, some of my outlaw stuff, and then the legal ones. Uh, but it was just, it was just really great to be able to meet somebody who I've known for years. I mean, literally years. You know, I can't even count how many. I'd have to really go do some research to figure out how long I've known. Uh, G webs and been talking to him either in chats or just commenting back in the day on the videos and having that kind of uh, back and forth relationship and watching him grow and expand and out you know uh, branch out into many different uh, things for the gun community so it was really really just awesome getting a chance to meet him and I've gotten him do that quite a bit and it really makes me really miss the interaction we used to have back on the old YouTube. You know, the chats, some of them still go on. Some of them are comparable to any of the ones back in the day. But it just seemed a little more freer, a little more funner. I know that's probably not a real word. But, uh, you know, it was just, I kind of miss it. And I still enjoy getting to meet people who, you know, over time, when you've talked as much as Pete and I have, and many other people out there, say the old Green Dragon crew did, you know, when you finally get a chance to meet them, it's always just an awesome experience. Anyway, so, more of the stuff that's coming in the, uh, the little flashlight. I don't know if anybody else has seen some of the other videos, but I'm going to keep showing. Right? So, what is this thing? This is your personal travel tube container. Eh. You know what? You know what? That'll probably fit really well. That'll probably fit really well a hitter, I will bet. And, now, this, for anybody who doesn't know what this is, this is an IR marking light, right? Uh, they give them to down pilots and spec ops guys and guys like HD, you know, so that way if they're ever looking for you in the wilderness or they need to, let's say, drop something on somebody's head and they don't want to drop it on yours, this thing needs to be blinking from so people on high can see you at night, right? And it's run by a uh, 
12 volt, uh, 9 volt battery, 9 volt battery, and these things are pretty cool. The little, there's a little container they make, and it's about six, seven bucks to be able to attach it to your gear. Really cool. Go check it out on eBay. These things are awesome, and can save your life, right? Because not only for a military aspect, but say you're hiking out in the woods and you get lost, and they have to do a little bit of S and R on you, right? And you have one of these blinking, and those 9 volt batteries do it for like you know. 72 something or more hours right so uh they will it will easily help in your rescue anyway great little item here a uh, couple little pocket flashlights right pretty cool oh whistles pocket whistles gonna go give these to the girls uh a super awesome challenge coin Right, one ounce of pure copper, and HD had these for his last giveaway as well. These are awesome. They don't tread on me. Don't tread on me. My son, he has to go back to work, and he's trying to talk to me, but he's standing there waiting patiently. But uh, I'm not speeding anything up. These, these are awesome. Life straw. Okay, so this thing needs to be in every bug out bag you have and you can never have enough of these why because these individually for each individual person will clean up to 210 gallons of water right so that can save your life you can drink out of put rain puddles some of the nastiest shit in the world you can drink out of with one of these and that in and of itself can save your life you can drink your own piss with this thing Okay, let's see, ooh, the awesome Don't Tread On Me sticker, I love these things, I have so many DTOMs, and this one's going to be just added to my collection, thanks HD. One last thing coming in, is the charade knife that came from one of these, a lot of this stuff actually, and let me use a gift from another old friend. This one was from Jim the Hornet Fixer. I won out of one of his contests one day, a long time ago. Long time friend. Got to meet him up at a Bome shoot, which was, again, this was where, you know, when you talk so, you, you get to know people before you actually meet them and have a meal, share a cup of coffee. Because to me, that's the second most, in, one of the second, third most intimate things you can do with another person is sit there and eat and have a conversation. So being able to do that with so many YouTubers makes me really miss this platform when it was at its best. Even though, you know, Pete and I had a lot of a, we talked a lot about that last night. It was, it was, it was really cool to be able to talk to him. Anyway, so one of the, uh, one of the people that helped participate in HD's giveaway, USMC Vet, another old friend, another longtime YouTuber who I, I miss. And I would always want to meet, you know. And anytime I get a chance to meet any of the uh, beautiful charade knife, though, by the way, I might have to add a, another into the rotation of pocket carry, right? Because this one I, I just got from HD. The uh, AK-47 auto knife, which now is legal in Illinois, which is oh, this boy. But I uh, got that from Jim the Hornet Fixer. And I have another one somewhere in another, I think downstairs, by my uh, my little daily carry fag bag, right? Uh, that's down there, and that's another Kershaw. I think I won it from, I'm pretty sure it was Fabrizio. So the, the friends of mine on YouTube have met, meant a lot to me, right? So just another thing to show you a few things that Pete gave me, uh, G-Webs. Right, and anybody who knows him remembers these. These are his from his first van tour, right? And there's the puppy. Sad, sad face. Puppy died. He has a new one. It's awesome. I'll be adding the picture of both of our feet and his dog. I'm wearing the Nike. Sorry, fuck you. I ain't burning my sneakers. But uh, and his new dog, beautiful, beautiful dog. You know, and being Pete never shows his face. I just took a picture of his feet. I get to keep, I get to remember his face, okay, so, and picked up a couple, he was, he was gracious enough to replace a patch that one of my grandsons took, and then 
proceeded to lose. Very upsetting. And giving me the updated version, which has now become part of my... Day. I love these patches. I always wore this one until my grandson took it. I'm going to be wearing this one all the time. Especially on the hat that he gave me. Alright, I'm back. Grandson, I don't even remember what the hell I was talking about. Oh yeah, I was going to show you guys the hat I got from uh, G-Webs. One of his first giveaways. Long, long, stupid long time ago. Anyway, I keep everything that I've gotten from YouTubers along the way. And uh, it's always been just an awesome... Getting to go to Ibome's uh, shoot, one of the last one, second to last one, right, was just awesome. Getting to meet people that I spoke to and watched videos from and they watched mine and we commented back and forth. And, you know, getting to meet them has always been just this great thing since YouTube was a thing. You know, is a thing. Now... Anymore, I'm not really much doing this any longer, as you guys can tell, because I don't make fucking rant videos anymore. But the nice thing is, I still consider myself friends with everybody who I've been interacting with over those years. Even people I argued with, fought with, yelled at, called motherfucker, everything. I still consider them a friend, and I would love to be able to break bread with them at any time. So... I got the opportunity to be able to do it with G Webs and it was it was worth the wait and it makes me anticipate any time that he's through my area again or I'm through his to be able to do it again because really just I have not had a bad experience meeting people that I got to know on YouTube. I can't say that about the rest of life. It's a shame that YouTube's screwed the pooch on the whole thing you know it really is and continually going to anybody who does chats now there's an attack on you guys anybody who does the super chats where you might get a little bit of money attack on you guys the attacks are not stopping so it's a shame and like uh pete and i like gwebs and i were talking about last night you know maybe it's time for this to die it, it lit a fire and showed the idea of what true freedom's like if you've if you've been on it as long as I have, you've seen the good, the bad, the ugly on here, you know. And but it was real, it was free, you know, and not in the, it, not monetized, not monetarily free, but it was free as in the freedom to exchange ideas and to you know destroy bad ones and try and lift up good ones and learn a lot of things and you know a lot of educational things that. If you didn't know, you then learned. Or at least for me. A lot of things that I didn't know I got to learn watching YouTube. And it's a shame to me that this has turned out the way it did. Anyway, so that's the video for me. Uh, I'll splice it in and do all my editing and bullshit. But uh, <laughs> I kind of miss the old YouTube. Actually, not kind of. I do. I miss it a lot. I mean, and I miss the people that I've gotten to know, you know, Stanger, Midwest, middle class prepper, you know, who you don't, who, people who you don't see on here anymore. And people who, when, when they were fully active, it was awesome. And getting to meet them in real life was even a greater, just film of the fondest memories for me. Anyway, peace. Oh, just found out no school on Friday and an early day tomorrow because of heat index, so it's lots of babysitting for me after work. Have a good one. Bye. Say hi to everybody. Hi. And tell them hashtag Justin's final mission. Hashtag Justin's final mission. All right.